Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah The most merciful The most beneficial All praise be to Allah The shersha, the nourisher and the sustain of the whole universe The prayers, blessings And peace be upon his prophet and messenger After whom there will be no prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Continuing to what we have left off last time concerning the explanation of the book which is written by Imam Ibn Baz. May Allah shower his blessings and mercy on him. Uh, the book which is under the title The Correct Belief and What Opposes It. We stopped uh, at uh, Imam Ibn Paz saying that Faith in Allah also entails believing in Allah's perfect names and attributes Which have been mentioned in his mighty book And authentic authentically reported on his trustworthy messenger Without distorting, without distorting the remaining Firstly, before starting to explain this, I would like to say that to precisely understand Allah's monotheism or oneness, Tawheed, you have to consider what is mentioned by the all Islamic scholars such as Imam Abu Hanifa, Ibn Batta, and so on, among others of Islamic scholars uh, uh, considering <coughs> Allah's monotheism they said that the science of oneness or monotheism uh, is divided into three sections first one considering Allah's Lordship and the other uh, concerning uh, the belief in Allah's worship and the third one concerning the belief in Allah's perfect names or beautiful names and attributes or qualities uh, I think we have just started to talking about the first two sections Allah's Lordship and Allah's worship and we've said that uh, Allah's Lordship concerning the belief in the fact that Allah is the, the only creator of the whole universe who looks after his creations, sustains them, takes care of, of all of uh, their needs and so on. We have uh, talked a lot about this in the previous uh, lectures that we have done. But uh, also the second one which is concerning the uh, Allah's worship we have explained that Allah's worship means that we have to uh, single Allah out with any type of uh, worship, prayer, supplication, hope, fear, whatever it is. All the kinds of worship should be for Allah alone, should be specified for Allah. These are the two sections that we have already, already talked about. But today, we want to talk about uh, Allah's perfect names or beautiful names and attributes. Here Imam Ibn Abbas said that believing in Allah's perfect names and attributes which have been mentioned in his Mari book and authentically reported in his trustworthy messenger. On his trustworthy messenger. Good. First, see, Muslims believe that Allah has names and qualities or attributes descriptions the sources for this belief are, are two and only are two and only the first one is the noble book the holy quran and number two the authentic sunnah this means that muslims do not affirm any name to Allah or 
a quality without referring to the Holy Quran and Sunnah. So, number two, we have to uh, bear in mind that we have to bear in mind that um, all the names and the attributes has their own meaning. Every name of Allah and every attribute has its own meaning. For example, if we uh, look at the, 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 the verse in chapter 7, Surah Al-Araf, verse number 180, the most beautiful names belongs to Allah. So call on Him by them. The most beautiful names belongs to Allah. So call on Him by them. These beautiful names include, for example, uh, um, I mean, uh, Allah Himself describes Himself as, as hears, the one who hears, all the all hear, the one who sees, all the all seer, and also all knowing. Al Alim and all wise Al Hakim the full of strength Al Qawi the exalted Al Aziz all comprehension Al Latif and so on. These are name uh, and if you remember it says that every one of these name or each one of these name has its own meaning this means that al alim all knowing is not like uh, as sami all hearing each one of them has its own meaning all hearing as sami means that allah hears everything all knowing al alim means that allah knows everything happens in the whole world okay and also, we should consider that Allah has subjective and actual qualities, including His coming and His going out, His bringing, and so on. Allah has risen over His throne. These are called subjective or actual qualities to understand these um, qualities or attributes or beautiful names we have to bear in mind that um, all the names and the attributes of Allah should be mentioned and should be reported in the Holy Quran and in Sunnah because we don't know how is Allah? So actually, absolutely, we don't know how can we describe or how the attributes and names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that to avoid falling into what Allah has forbidden to what Allah has forbidden in Surah Al Araf, verse number thirty-three, he says that and saying things about Allah of which you have knowledge. In order to avoid this, we have to avoid uh, describing Allah by anything that Allah hasn't mentioned in the Holy Quran or in the Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.